Hey, this will be a video chart on IVIT, Invicta Group Incorporated. Um, been getting some requests on this one, but the main reason I want to do it is simply uh, this right here, the huge volume bar, uh, and it's a triple zero stock. And if you've been around the penny market, you know that triple zero stocks, although hard to get moving, once they do get moving, they can be uh, pretty big money makers. Uh, they can really uh, draw in quite a bit of liquidity because everybody likes playing them. So. Uh, just going to try to catch this early if there's anything that follows who knows maybe this was just a one day wonder type volume day and things are over with now you know I have no idea all I know is that there's big volume today so maybe there's a news release out or whatever to be honest I don't really care it doesn't matter all I know is that for some reason there was a lot of big volume and if whatever happened today that cost of big volume continues next week this thing could really get moving and that's where the money can be made so um, and the other reason is if you just look at much less volume you know this thing went on a very nice move uh, but on the flip side of that you know to see that this was able to move this much on this sort of volume and then you get a huge volume day like this and it was only not that it didn't move a lot percentage wise but um, you know by no means you know something big like that so maybe this was just some sort of um, you know washing out of some profit takers or something I'm not sure um, but let's just break down the chart I want to go over some sports resistances and um, then we'll see kind of what plays out next week so right now the key level from a support standpoint which did hold today is this level right here at triple zero six if you look here you can see it was a pretty stubborn resistance then got above it today came back down back tested it and it did a great job of holding strong so point or triple zero point zero 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 six triple zero six is going to be uh, the key area of support if we also look you can see that there's kind of just a whole little bunch of moving averages we have this gold line here we have the 50 day simple moving average which is that purple line if you squint and look real close all pretty much at this triple zero six area so they're all confirming that this is a pretty area pretty key area of support so we want to see the price hold above there any sorts of closes below that uh, kind of invalidate the chart and uh, if triple zero six does fail then it looks like my guess would be that price will head back down here and give triple zero four a test as you can see it's actually could probably extend that over there it's been tested what about five let's see once twice and then three more times so five times it seems like if uh, that you know the triple zero six level holds the price will come down and test that so this will also be a key area of support but really the important thing is going to be resistances because resist resistances help measure how strong moves are if stocks can't break and hold above resistances then they're really not truly strong they're just little kind of poppers and then they'll drop right back down so the key first key level that'll be a good test is going to be up here at triple zero nine yes today intraday the price did break above it but remember we care about where the close is from a daily chart perspective so this will be the first kind of key test area of you know kind of measuring if there's any sort of strength if the bulls can get up here and get some closes above here then that's a good sign it shows that uh, not only is the stock able to make gains but more importantly it's able to maintain those gains but the key level so if we were back in high school the SAT level, level or ACT level is going to be up here this is going to be the key test at 0.012 this is the previous high I'm uh, going to make that a little thicker to remind us that it's a very important one if the price can get above there uh, looking at the chart, you know, th that's where a, a pretty big move could happen because then resistance is really thin out. And in a sense, it would be a blue sky breakout territory. Not quite because we do still have other resistances above us. Uh, but this price could really get moving. And like I said at the beginning of the video, triple zero stocks, when they get moving, well, at this time, I guess it would be a double zero stock. But regardless, when sub penny stocks get moving, a lot of people will hop in. And I think this would be the level that would draw in quite a few eyes because it would show that the price is you know making big moves and if this is going to happen there's going to need to be big volume and that's one of the things all traders look for is big volume because obviously without liquidity it's going to be hard to uh, get out of stock so um, 0009 key level but 0 0.0012 I think is going to be the test one that will put it on the map if the price can get through there so uh, keep an eye on it next week we'll see if there's any sort of uh, follow through from that volume if not uh, then just move on but um, you know it is a very interesting chart just because of this huge volume bar that came in today if there are any other questions on the chart please let me know if not I would encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with your newsletter subscription you'll get chart setups trade ideas educational pieces all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks so there's a good variety of something for everybody it's all free 
Uh, we've been making some good money together on our trade alerts and um, chart setups and so forth. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. One last time, this was IVIT. Thanks for listening, and enjoy your weekend.